and tell the person you are taking the derivative, so d dx. Sine x plus 2 cosine 2y. And again, d dx on that right-hand side. OK, so my sine x, just an x term. So I take derivative just like normal. Derivative of sine is cosine, right? So cosine x, no chain because it's just a plain x. So I don't have to worry about chain or anything on that. OK, now, is this constant multiplier rule? Because I get 2 times cosine. So this is that constant multiplier rule. I don't have to do product because that's just a plain 2. So I can keep the 2, all right? But this is cosine of 2y. So this involves a chain, OK? So I'm going to keep my 2. I'm going to take the derivative of the outside function. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So negative sine. I'm going to keep the inside and leave it alone, negative sine 2y. Now times the derivative of the inside. I won't make you do ddx notation in this, all right? So derivative of 2y is just going to be a 2 slap in the chain. So 2y prime. We good there? Equals 0. OK, I am going to go ahead and clean that line up. Cosine x plus, if I multiply this 2 and this 2 with the negative, shoot, I didn't need a plus sign in there. So let's make it a minus sign. Minus 4. Uh, let's put the y prime in front. And then sine of 2y. Just to kind of clean that up again a little bit. OK, so this term goes over to the right-hand side. There's nothing to factor out because I only have one term. So I'm going to pull my cosine over here and make it negative. Well, yeah, but I mean, because when I write this, I'm hoping you can just look at that and go, oh, hey, I've got to divide by everything but the y prime. All right. So I am. I'm going to divide by negative 4 sine 2y, y prime over negative cosine x over a negative 4 sine 2y. Negatives cross out because we're a little tacky there. Let's get rid of that. So y prime is equal to cosine x over 4 sine 2y. So there's one with a trig. How do we get out?